Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how you can install OpenSSL in Windows and after that how you can use it in Visual Studio 2022. To install the OpenSSL you have to go into your Chrome browser and now go into your search bar and type install OpenSSL Windows and press enter. Now you have to go into the website called Shining Light Productions. Just click on it. Before installing the OpenSSL you have to make sure that your PC should meet the minimum requirements you should have window xp or later 32 mb of ram 200 megahertz of cpu or 30 mb hard drive space these are the minimum requirements and these are the recommended system requirements and on april 9th of 2025 open ssl has released the new version with the number 3.5 now we are going to install this open ssl 3.5 so you have to go down go down here they have open ssl 3.5.0 and now we are going to install it for the 64-bit operating system you can either install it through the exe file or the msi file now in order to download the open ssl you have to click on this exe it will automatically start this download here after downloading in order to install the open ssl you have to click on this file just click on yes here you are seeing the setup to install the OpenSSL 3.5.0 for 64-bit operating system. Now select the I accept the agreement, click on next. Here you can choose the location where you want to install the OpenSSL in your PC. I am going to install it in the default location which is C program files. Just click on next, click on next, click on install. It will take few seconds to complete this setup. So after finish the installing, we are not going to donate anything to OpenSSL. Just unclick it and click on finish. Next, to verify this installation, you have to open your command prompt. Just press the Windows key and type CMD and run it as an administrator. Click on yes. And inside this command prompt, you have to type OpenSSL space version and press enter. It is saying that OpenSSL is not recognized as an external or internal command. It means that your system or PC is unable to find where the OpenSSL library is located. So to fix this, you have to go into the location where you have installed your OpenSSL library. So open the folder. I have installed it in C, Program Files, and here it is OpenSSL. Just open this folder. Go into the bin folder, click here and copy this path and now press the windows key and look for the system environment variables. Now open edit the system environment variables. Click on the environment variables. Now go into the system variables and look for the variable name path. Go down. Here is the path variable. Just double click on it. And now you have to click on the new and here you have to copy the path of the bin folder. Just paste it here, press enter, click on OK, OK and OK. Now you have to open the new CMD, again press the Windows key, type CMD, run it as an administrator, click on yes. Now again type open SSL space version. And now you can see that this time our PC is able to find where our open SSL library is located. Here you can see that we have installed the open SSL version 3.5.0 which was released on 8th of April 2025. Now we will see how we can use the open SSL library inside Visual Studio 2022. To open the Visual Studio, just press the window key and look for the Visual Studio, press enter. Now we are going to create a new project, just click on it. Select the empty project, click on next. Here you can give the name to your project. So I'm going to give the name open SSL test. Now our project is created. Next we are going to create a CPP file inside this project. So just go here, select the source files, right click on it, select add, click on new item. And here you have to name your CPP file. So I'm going to add the CPP file with the name of test. Just click on add and this cpp file is added in the source files inside our project. Now I'm going to paste the test program in order to test the open SSL. Just paste it here. I will also share this program with you. 
now you can see here that we have red lines under this include if i go to these red lines you can see that it is saying that cannot open source file open ssl ssl.h so to fix it you have to go into your project just select it open ssl test right click on it click on properties you have to go into the c c++ expand it click on journal select additional include directories click here click on this sign click on edit click on this folder sign click here now you have to go into the folder where you have installed the open ssl i have installed it in program files here it is open ssl just click on it click on the include folder click on select folder click on ok next after including the include folder you have to go into the linker expand it click on again journal and look for the additional library directories click here click on this sign click on edit click on this folder sign click here again you have to go into the open ssl directory and now you have to go into the lift folder vcc x64 now you have to add all of these folders one by one first i'm going to add the md folder it means it is for the release version and this mdd means it is for the debug version so click on it click on select folder now we have to add all of these folders one by one again click here on this folder sign click here again go into your open ssl directory now add the mdd small d folder click on it click on select folder now only one folder is left just click here click on this folder sign again click here go into your open ssl directory now we have to select this mtd click on select folder and here as you can see that i have included all of these full folders and now click on ok and the last thing we have to do we have to go into the input under the journal and you have to click here additional dependencies click here click on this sign click on edit and you have to include two libraries here the first one is lib ssl dot lib press enter and the next one is lib crypto dot lib click on ok apply ok as you can see that all the red marks are gone now if i will run my program and here you can see the output open ssl initialized successfully what we have printed here so this is how you can use the open ssl inside visual studio so if you want to create the project in the release mode change it from here release mode now you can see that again all these errors are appeared because for the release mode you have to separately again do all the steps in order to link this library with your project uh, this is it for today i hope you have liked this tutorial so don't forget to subscribe and press the bell icon to get the notifications of the new uploads so see you next time bye bye